Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Flash Attention 3 is here. Flash Attention is already being widely used to accelerate transformer models and it is already making attention lot faster than before. But all of these modern GPUs like Hopper or H100 and all that stuff, they are still unable to take full advantage of this Flash Attention and that is where this new Flash Attention 3 comes handy. Before we go into the details of what exactly this Flash Attention 3 is, let's review what Flash Attention does to these transformer models. Flash Attention is a technique used in transformer models to improve the efficiency of attention mechanism in processing long input sequences. The attention mechanism is a key component of transformer models that allows the model to focus on specific parts of the input sequence when generating output, it computes a weighted sum of the input elements where the weights are learned during training and reflect the importance of each input element for the specific task. Flash attention is a variant of the attention mechanism that reduces the computational complexity of attention by approximating the attention weights using a low rank decomposition. This allows for faster computation of attention weights and reduces the memory requirements for storing the attention weights. The way it works is quite interesting. First, it computes a set of learnable vectors, which are called as key and value, that capture the importance of each input element. Then it computes a low rank approximation of the attention weights using the keys and values. And then it uses the approximated attention weights to compute the output of the attention mechanism. And this results in faster computation, reduced memory usage and improved scalability. It is quite a useful technique to improve the efficiency of transformer models, especially if you require speed and scalability. The thing is that flash attention is not always valid or workable for commodity GPUs. So if you are using modern GPUs of high uh, configuration, only then it makes sense. And that is why this flash attention 3 tries to solve the limitations of previous flash attention 2, which is not really workable with even higher end GPUs like H100. If you look at this diagram, this shows you the comparison of flash attention 3 with the previous flash attention 2. So if you look here, flash attention 3, which is in the orange bar has, uh, sorry, uh, which is in the purple bar has beaten the orange bar flash attention 2 with quite a wide margin. Now, this flash attention 3 is shown to be or promises to have sped up two times the performance of previous flash attention 2 and it reaches up to 740 teraflops on floating point 16 and nearly 1.2 petaflops on floating point 8. This increases GPU utilization to 75% of the theoretical maximum on H100 GPUs which are the Hopper family from NVIDIA and that is a difference of 35% improvement. That is actually quite a groundbreaking stuff. And by the way, on this graph, this CUDNN, this is the CUDA, the NVIDIA CUDA Deep Neural Network library of GPU accelerated primitives for deep neural networks. This provides a set of GPU accelerated algos for deep learning computation such as forward and backward propagation, optimization solvers and neural network layers. And this uh, CUDNN is designed to work with popular deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch and CAFE and is optimized for NVIDIA's GPUs. Again, just like flash attention, it offers accelerated computation, memory efficiency, and then also it works with not only with transformers, but also it works with CNNs, RNNs and few other architectures. It is quite powerful and you can see that it even is quite um, close to flash attention 3 in some of the stuff, especially when it comes to the sequence length of 512 and it, it has already beaten the flash attention 2 by a wide margin, which is quite uh, interesting. Now. Flash Attention 3 uh, also shows a lot of promises in various other benchmarks as you can see on your screen. And there are three main techniques which it has introduced. 
and they have described it in great detail in this blog post and i will drop the link in video description so first it introduces overlapping computation and data movement to boost performance secondly it offers interleaving matrix multiplication or matmul and then thirdly softmax uh, operations using low precision floating point 8 and i believe this last one is quite interesting in my opinion just to give you a brief idea on all of these three first up they have defined this warp specialized software pipelining scheme that exploits the asynchronous execution of data movement and tensor cores by splitting producer and consumer of data into separate warps and that is how this algo hides memory and instruction issue latencies and improves the performance secondly they have overlapped the comparatively low throughput non gem operations involved in softmax such as floating point multiply add and exponential and so this also improves the performance and reduces the latency thirdly they have introduced hardware accelerated low precision gem in which they have adapted the forward pass algorithm to allow for targeting the fp8 tensor core so they have also used this technique of block quantization and incoherent processing to mitigate the loss of accuracy that result from moving to floating point 8 precision which is quite good also, they have benchmarked this flash attention 3 on the H100SXM5 GPU over a range of parameters, which you can see on um, the other screen, which I showed you earlier, which is from their paper. And I will drop the link to it in video description, especially this blog post. And you can read further along because I think that if you are using Hopper one uh, H100 and all that stuff, uh, modern GPU, you should upgrade to this and then get it installed installation is fairly simple if you go to their github repo then all you need to do is to clone this repo cd to hopper and run python setup.py install and it is going to install it make sure that you have this gpu installed and you have cuda version greater than 12.3 i would suggest go with 12.4 for this and then if you want to run some of the flash attention test you can simply use this command so looks really cool to me and i think that not only um, this is good that it supports a modern gpu one thing i couldn't find about it is that whether it supports the previous gpus or not i don't think so i think maybe backward compatibility is not possible but if it is it would be really good to have it uh, ported to nvidia rtx 6000 maybe which i normally use that will be awesome and then i would be able to test it out and show you Anyway, so flash attention 3, awesome stuff, it uses asynchrony to perform multiple operations simultaneously, which improves the performance and ensures that the GPU stays busy and efficient. That's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this flash attention 3. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.